I got so cold watching The Revenant this weekend that I had to amputate the popcorn from my hands. What did I think about the movie? How many fingers do I have left? Let's talk about it. I'm John with Dino News. Spoiler warning, if you haven't seen the film yet, save this video, go see the movie, and then come back. Okay, ready? Alejandro Gonzalez in Richu puts out his next movie in the form of a pre-Civil War survival slash revenge piece centered on Leonardo DiCaprio's Hugh Glass. Glass is a frontiersman and is out trapping and collecting furs with a group of others including his half pawnee son. Fellow trapper John Fitzgerald, played by Tom Hardy, finds the pair untrustworthy and immediately raises the already uneasy environment to a full-on palm sweaty tension. Early one morning, Glass leaves on his own for a little hunting action when he is effectively pounced on and mauled by a full-grown bear. This scene was brutal and beautiful all at once and is worth the price of admission. Following the mauling, he is found alive by his party and they attempt to carry him back to their fort through the wilderness while being chased by an angry group of Ree who are looking for their chief's missing daughter. Feeling bogged down by Glass, the group decides to leave him and come back from a few days later. Three people stay back to watch over Glass, his son Hawk, young Bridger played by Will Poulter, and Fitzgerald himself. The tension between Fitzgerald, Hawk, and Glass builds and results in Fitzgerald killing Hawk in front of Glass who is still not able to move or talk. Fitzgerald lies to Bridger about being watched by Ree and that they need to leave without Hawk or Glass. The middle part of this movie has little dialogue but amazing cinematography and focus on, on Hugh Glass's recovery and his journey to the fort where he plans on finding and killing Fitzgerald. The final act we see Glass and Captain Andrew Henry, played by Donald Gleason, hunting down Fitzgerald in a gorgeous snow-packed landscape. Henry is shot and scalped by Fitzgerald and his final showdown with Glass begins. The fight is brutal and just as heart racing as the bear scene. Glass and Fitzgerald both take their fair share of hits, including Fitzgerald getting some fingers hacked off. In the end, Glass wins the fight, but ultimately leaves Fitzgerald up to the Ree who come across both of them. I really like this movie. Cinematically, it blew my mind, especially going into it knowing the majority of the film was shot using natural lighting. Story-wise, there was a pretty good balance. Everyone has a reason. As much as you aren't meant to like Tom Hardy's character, I don't blame him for why he did what he did. And I really liked that there was an explanation for why the natives were doing what they were doing as well and aren't just Hollywood savages. There were two things I didn't like. The first was mostly the middle part of the movie where there's very little dialogue. Some scenes were just drawn out a little too much for me. And the second thing is the hype on Leo's portrayal of Hugh Glass. Don't get me wrong, the performance is incredible, but I thought Tom Hardy stole the show. What do you think about The Revenant? Tell me about it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. For Dino News, I'm John Burkhart.